Hi everybody and welcome back to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. This post is from the subreddit Am I the A-hole and it's by user Runaway Brother. Am I the A-hole for helping my brother run away from his wedding? I have two older brothers. This is about the middle one. Our parents divorced when I was very young due to our mother's insane jealousy. At first, my dad was able to handle it, but when she started making comments about me wanting to be like his wife, he had enough. She quickly rebounded with a guy with two kids and had shared custody for a while. But when my dad got remarried, she went crazy, calling his new wife every horrible name and claiming he was cheating on her while they were married. I was always closer to my brothers and dad than my mom because she was always very mean to me. Long story short, my stepmom died in a bad car accident and my dad called her in the middle of the night letting her know he would pick us up earlier so we could attend the funeral and she decided to take us on a fun trip to celebrate something. It was the happiest we've ever seen her and when we realized what happened and started crying, she told us only worthless people cry for floozies. Needless to say, things went nuclear and my dad asked for full custody with visitation for her. He always left the line of communication open and paid for us to visit her when she moved away, but it was still very bad and as soon as we turned 18, we started to lower contact with her. Last time we saw her was on my high school graduation, where she made a point of letting everyone who would hear know we were ungrateful kids and her husband would call us bad names too. We've been no contact since then. My brother Sam started dating his ex three years ago. She has heard all the stories and the reasons we are no contact, but she believes we are just dramatic. They had many issues due to her opinions, but she eventually seemed to drop the you need to reconcile with your mother crusade. During the wedding planning, there was no indications of things going wrong or fishy. Then we got to the church and lo and behold, Mom, her husband and two kids were sitting in the front. I immediately panicked and called my brothers. Sam thought maybe somehow she found out and wanted to crash, so he called his ex to let her know of the potential drama, but she told him it was fine since she invited them. Sam hung up and asked me to go get him while my oldest brother dealt with things at the church. We went home and barricaded ourselves there even when his ex, her family and friends etc came to try and talk sense into him. Mom's husband even called and said he always knew we were worthless. Now that the dust has settled, most of Sam's friends are on his side and so is most of our family, dads. Ex's parents already threatened to sue for the money they paid if he doesn't marry her, but Sam says he'd rather pay them back for their contribution than marry someone that betrayed him. My nuclear family 100% supports Sam, but the backlash has been huge. I am beginning to wonder if I am the a-hole for the way we helped Sam run away from the wedding, since despite what his ex did, she was humiliated. We were not thinking about her at all and maybe we could have done it in a better way. So am I? Wow, no OP, you are not the a-hole. So let me get this straight. Your brother's ex knew all about your upbringing, knew all about how horrible it was to be with your mom, and knew that your brother wanted to have no contact with her whatsoever. But in all of this, the only thing she heard was, please invite my mom to our wedding behind my back and blindside me with that fantastic gift of drama. Yeah, she's an idiot. So no, you are not the a-hole. That is on her. What did she expect? Your brother to suddenly break down and go hug his mommy because she did this? No, you did your brother a solid. Good for you, OP. You did the right thing. So what do you guys think about this? What is your judgment? Let me know in the comment section. And now let's move on to the community comments to see what they had to say. HCATS Online says, Not the a-hole. Your brother escaped marrying someone who is controlling and would not listen and respect his feelings. She instead went behind his back to invite the one person who traumatized you all. She did this because she knew better. He is lucky to have escaped a life of that. As for paying for the wedding, the bride is the one that made the situation unworkable. Your brother should not have to pay anything. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. 
ScaredMind4799 says, Not the a-hole. He needs to run from her. Also, her parents can't sue him for dumping her and running from the church, can't they? You did the right thing, and so did he. Scorchy Song says, Not the a-hole. Someone who doesn't respect when their partner says they're no contact with someone for a reason and goes as far as ambushing a reconciliation is not someone who should be in a relationship. Your not sister-in-law showed her true colors. Thank goodness your brother realized before separation had legal ramifications. Your mother has also not changed. She shared her skewed narrative to her family and they've bought it wholeheartedly. Opie's edit. You guys just reassured us all. Thank you. Some have commented about it, but no, she has not apologized. She even went so far as to text my oldest brother Joe that she thought it would be a good wedding present from my brother to her since she values family. My dad bought them a house as a wedding present, but only Sam is on the deed. She did have keys for when they moved there, but they just had the locks changed today. And Joe and some cousins are taking everything Sam owns from her flat during this week. We aren't worried about being sued, but we'll consult a lawyer just in case. We also heard mom and her family are still in town, but since we're all staying at our childhood home for a few days, we don't care. My dad is sad that Sam is heartbroken, but is trying to cheer him up along with my boyfriend and my sister-in-law. I had to delete and deactivate my social media because I kept getting nasty comments and messages. But the more people learned the reason Sam ran away, the less it gets. I am still sorry she felt humiliated, but my brother comes first. Edit 2. We are 34, 32, and 28. Ex-sister-in-law is 30. Not in the US. I asked Joe about the church aftermath and it was just as I expected it. He says he stood up in front of everybody and told them Sam was not coming and to please go home and all their gifts delivered to our side of the family will be given back as soon as possible. The ex was still outside the church when someone in her family informed her and she started screaming and crying and calling Sam non-stop. Mom tried to talk to Joe that didn't even look at her and when she couldn't get a reaction out of him, she started crying loudly and lamenting how horrible we are to her and some people started consoling her. This is her MO. But Joe and his wife didn't care. When they went out of the church, the ex was expecting them and demanding to see Sam, but Joe said no. Then she demanded to know what to do with the party and he said if she didn't want the venue, he would arrange for the food to be donated to the staff there, so it wouldn't go to waste. Everybody was screaming, except Joe because he didn't want to give mom the satisfaction. They, Joe and my sister-in-law, came home after stopping at the supermarket and some fast food joints, and we have been inside like we are kids again, plus two more members. We asked Sam if he wanted them to go, but he said he wanted them there. We had all taken time off to spend family time after the wedding anyway, so it's not a problem at the moment. When the ex came to the gate, we knew she was not going to use the venue, so my sister-in-law called them with Sam's information, told them to take the food, and also sent them some tips for their trouble. It seems we will get back all the alcohol that my dad paid for, so we will still have a very drunk end of the year. A couple of people messaged me asking why did our dad ever marry our mom? And the answer is, he really loved her and believed she was the nicest person ever. Turns out, she wasn't, but she knew nobody, except I guess her nasty husband, would marry her unless she pretended to be nice. He considered staying with her until we were adults, but she kept getting worse. She used to get very nice and then he thought she was changing and then she would change again. As per my ex-sister-in-law, we have no doubt that she believes mom is a nice person that has ungrateful children because she is extremely charming and for some people it's funny to make fun of others as long as it's not directed at them, but it still doesn't excuse his ex. The only person Sam gave an explanation to was his boss who was at the church but he is very understanding and was pretty shocked at what mom put us through since we are fairly adjusted happy people. Our dad said that it was a shock for all of us and we can stay home as long as we need. Sam is moving home for the time being. 
I showed my family the post and they are moved by your niceness. But Sam wants you all to know his ex wasn't showing any concerning behaviors and he truly believed she understood his upbringing. He agreed to talk to her and her parents today, but only if it's at our home and we are there to support him, so it's going to be an interesting visit. Alright, well, no need to go diving in the comment section because OP gave us all the information we need. So let's move on to the update to see how this meeting went. First, some extra information. Sam lost some money, but it's not going to hurt him. Her parents paid for her dress, a very fancy cake, and part of the honeymoon. His ex wasn't the most beloved in-law, but we truly believed she loved Sam. We have no contact with mom's side. Joe used to have some with grandma, but after his wedding, another crap show avoided, he cut her off too. My mom's comments about me wanting to be the wife came from her belief that it was not right for us to have daddy-daughter days or outings. The thing is, there were also daddy Joe days and daddy Sam days. He always tried to spend time with us alone and as a group. She is just sick. We don't advertise our childhood, so when people ask us about our parents, the standard answer is, just my dad, or it's just my siblings and my dad. Most people assume mom is dead, and it helps avoid the whole inquiry about not talking to her. Mom's stepkids are both male and in their early 30s. Dad has a long-term girlfriend, and we like her a lot. She has been doing her own stuff these past few days, but she says we have her full support. Now, the update. I was wondering why Sam accepted the meeting after not even talking to her, but turns out she sent videos and photos of all his things on the floor to his best friend, Tom, and told him that Sam either talked to her or she would burn and destroy it all. Tom came to visit Sam, told him what happened, and they informed her they need access to the flat before anything happens. Tom, Joe, a couple of cousins, and my boyfriend went and took his clothes, electronics, and important paperwork. Sam said he didn't care about the rest and even made a little joke about them being the fastest moving crew he knew. The meeting was, for lack of a better word, a ridiculous event. She came with her parents and sisters, tried to talk to Sam alone, but when he didn't allow it, she just started talking. Not once did she apologize. She said it's not her fault we don't understand the value of a real family, and we were raised to hate mothers. That her only intention was for Sam to learn to value mothers, because she was scared he would take her children away from her, because that is what he was taught to do. Sam didn't say anything until she threw the, This family is like a cult, and you are a terrible father, looking at my dad. As you may imagine, this is a sore spot for all of us and we don't allow insults towards our dad under any circumstance. Sam just unloaded about how she was a hateful liar. He was disgusted he ever even touched her hand. He was grateful to the universe that I am chronically early to everything. He told her staying with a cheating husband, as her mom does, is nothing to be proud about. He said she pretended to be nice just so he would marry her unloaded all the minor things that he was willing to overlook because he truly did love her, or at least who he thought she was. He said he would never forgive her for the hurt she caused his siblings, but he doesn't hate her because that would require him to spend energy thinking about her, and she doesn't get that. At the end, he said that she had enough time to clear things and since she has acted like a victim, he will be the one to let everybody know why he didn't show. It was brutal, but cathartic and necessary for Sam. Her parents said nothing, but were very red. She was crying. Her sisters attempted to defend her and their parents' relationship and were kind of expecting my whole family to argue too, but we didn't. Then Sam told his ex-father-in-law he could sue if he wanted, but if he did, Sam would expose all his family's dirty laundry to the world and he doubts he wants that. Amazingly, the dad still argued Sam could try and make amends and marry his ex because they are not getting any younger, and all families fight. I've never rolled my eyes harder. The rest of the meeting went about logistics for the return of the wedding gifts already received, stopping the harassment from their family, the cancellation and refund of the honeymoon, the changing of the locks. 
His ex just kept crying and trying to talk to Sam, but he was in business mode and didn't want anything from her. He only replied to her directly when she said she was keeping her engagement ring with Nobody asked for it. They left without issues. When the booze was delivered, mom and her husband sneaked through the gate when we opened it. She said she just wanted to talk to her babies. And dad asked her to leave. She kept screaming he raised us wrong and we just embarrassed her with our behavior. She couldn't believe we were such bad people and we should start making amends with her because we clearly lack maternal love. She got that right. And this was the pathetic result. At that point, Joe went out and told her to leave since the police were on their way. She took it as an opportunity to cry since it's the first time in about a decade he talked to her and tried to sweet talk him into going to grab dinner with her and her husband. But Joe just told her to leave and the only news he ever wanted to hear related to her were the ones about her funeral so he could go celebrate. Cue hysterical crying and screaming from the husband demanding an apology and threatening to hit Joe. Dad and Joe went back inside and left them there until we saw they left and closed the gate. It is hard for some people to understand why we react as we do, but the things I wrote about our mother are just like the tip of the iceberg. Dad wasn't exactly proud of what Joe said, but he understood he needed to let it out and he was speaking for all of us. Maybe that makes us bad people, but we truly don't want to see this woman ever again. We are all going to have some family therapy besides our individual ones. Sam doesn't want the house anymore, but my dad says to take it slow and the first step is to mend his heart. We have had horror movie marathons and some Disney classics sprinkled here and there. We also had a drama bingo thing going on of all the things that could possibly happen because I guess we are truly dramatic after all. We love each other and were raised to treat people well, but we can be petty when pushed. I also feel better knowing she humiliated herself and while I wouldn't wish to be left at the church to anybody, I would do it again because I love my brother more than I feel bad for her. We will be going on a family trip eventually, but right now, we will continue our staycation. To the person that said Joe is a hero, his siblings couldn't ask for a better brother and friend. We've read everything so far. Thank you for letting me vent. The awards, the PMs, I am sorry if my English was not up to the standards. Joe and Sam's names are obviously fake, but Daniela, go F yourself. Little note. My brothers are reading your messages and comments. They want you to know we know how lucky we are. They appreciate the positivity, want you to know it gets better, those in the same boat, and you are all welcome to our cult. What a ride that was. OP, thank you for sharing. Your mom's attitude towards daddy-daughter day is just ridiculous. I love those days. I recently graduated from Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol to My Little Pony. Anyways, the community is right. Your cult sounds awesome. Take care, OP, and all the best to you and your family. And it's that time that we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. I really did enjoy reading them to you. So if you did, then don't be shy and go ahead and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe or even share this video with people that you might think will enjoy my storytelling. Also, if you have the time, go down to the video description and check out all the links I have for you from our Discord community to my channel merch. And finally, I'd like to say thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me that you enjoy my videos. And having said all that, I'll see you guys in the next video.